Hi, my name is Joe Husa. I'm the Executive Director at the West Island Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this is our fourth uh, edition of our renowned speakers conference. I'm here with Senator Larry Smith, who this morning uh, exchanged with our members on ideas of how to make the West Island a more prosperous uh, area. Larry, thank you very much for coming this morning. And uh, I thought maybe you can give us a little uh, overview of what it is that you're trying to accomplish with these kind of discussions. And how, in your opinion, did the discussions go this morning? Well, Joe, this is a, an opportunity to exchange uh, ideas of how to improve the economic reality of the West Island. Uh, we've had these conferences throughout Canada. Minister Flaherty and various ministers, MPs and senators have been involved over the past uh, 18 months. Uh, we do it before budgets come out and after budgets come out because it's important to have the new ideas going through the grist mill so that when the next budget comes up, we can have things that will be applicable and can help move our economy forward. That's really good news. I know that, uh, as you know, the West Island is challenged uh, in the business sector. We've had a lot of issues of infrastructure and things of that nature. I noticed this morning, however, that the discussion was more of a macro level, which was also very uh, pleasing to see that people are talking about how they can access grants easily and having people, um, you know, one one side knows what the other is saying and stuff like that. So uh, are there any really interesting takeaways for you to bring back to Minister Flaherty? Well, I, I think one of the uh, interesting points that came out of today's discussion was uh, when we look at some of these programs for entrepreneurial companies, and we had uh, Tim Ford from Adventure Lights, who was a recipient uh, of a government grant uh, for his business, um, you see that there's a challenge for people to get access to information because of the complexity uh, of the system. And of course, we've had this red tape commission where they've identified 90 issues that need to be uh, solved, and I think they've taken action on about 16 of them. The issue is how can we make the system easier to administer? But another point that came out was the accountability. When we do things and give out money for uh, companies, organizations, people who are creating wealth, we have to make sure there's an accountability. You can't give money out without having some measurement as to how effective it's going to be. It sounds like a business argument, but it is a business argument because people in government, like in business, have to make sure that when money is given out, there is accountability, there's transparency, and there's results. Well, that's all good news because uh, I think people are like nothing more than to make sure that our governments are accountable. Much like us at the, as a chamber, we have to be accountable to our members. So my understanding is that uh, this is just a first step and hopefully many where we will see some good news coming back from the pipeline to hopefully help the business community uh, get together and uh, be able to thrive with some new ideas that we, we, we I guess, came up with this morning and uh, hopefully make the uh, West Island a uh, community to thrive. Well, if we look at local issues, we have La Trinidad de West, which is a huge issue in terms of getting people to work. We look at the uh, other issue of the transfer of the Veterans Hospital. We had a great suggestion from Dr. Ray Hessel, who's a doctor at the Lakeshore General in terms of creating a, a new vehicle uh, through the tax-free savings account that would give the ability of Canadians to create more wealth, not only for themselves, but for their children and grandchildren, etc., which was a dynamic idea. So yes, we came out with some really good local issues and some excellent macro issues that could help all Canadians. Well, that's great. I want to thank again uh, Senator Larry Smith for being here with us this morning. If you missed uh, the uh, the presentation this morning, then you can go check up the check out the details at our website, www.ccoim.ca. And I thank you very much and see you next time.